If you are a real estate agent and you are tired of cold calling, door knocking, paying for ads that flat out don't work, or just tired of not knowing how to generate leads, then this is the channel for you. We are four rockstar agents who have come together to help fellow agents achieve financial freedom as well as location and time freedom. My name is Andy Hollis along with my partners Aileen Fountain, David Doran, and Tim Hollanden. Together we have over 50 plus years experience and knowledge in the real estate and sales and training industry and we are hoping to pass that knowledge on to you. So let's get started. Um, let me just I'll share my screen here. Um, all right. So I, I put together just a little presentation. So um, Kelly introduced me as Done For You Real Estate, which is accurate, which is correct. Um, that's how I've branded my business with how I work with uh, my customers, my clients. Um, and uh, I've, I've been doing what she kind of described in, in helping uh, investors purchase uh, investment real estate for the last 15 plus years. I started out as... Um, you know, as just an investor, um, I, I was in the construction world. Um, and in 2004, I sold that company and I did so in order to become a full-time real estate investor because I had just become so, uh, enamored with the real estate world. So kind of my, two of my loves are business and entrepreneurship and real estate. And I've kind of blended, blended the two, um, over the years that Kelly and I have worked together, uh, you know, over the, over the last probably four years, she's been talking to me about eXp Realty and, uh, you know, the, all the benefits uh, that, that come with being a part of this incredible organization. <clears throat> and um, last year uh, in April, I uh, transitioned from my own brokerage and uh, joined eXp Realty. And uh, that was in April. And a month later, I, I iconed. And I've been a part of uh, EXP Realty now for just over a year. And uh, um, so I've icon for the second time now. And it's kind of, it's fun to kind of be a part of an organization, one that's, you know, that's larger. It's a kind of a, a larger than life kind of an organization. And you're associated with so many great people and then so many great segments within the organization and being a part of the freedom team um, uh, has been great. The leadership of this team is fantastic. And they've been super supportive of, of, of me and my efforts and, and my team's efforts. And um, so one of my objectives in uh, joining eXp Realty was to see if there might be a way that I could help other real estate agents do something similar to what I'm doing. Um, I've been doing this long enough now that I'm kind of, I feel like I'm I'm on a mission. I'm going to touch on this a little bit later in my presentation um, where I, over the, over the course of the last 15 years, I've helped my clients purchase more than 5,000 uh, real estate investment properties. And last year, it was a pretty tough year last year, I think for most agents, um, but still managed to do over 200 uh, investment transactions with my clients. And this year, we'll close somewhere between two and 300 uh, transactions. And it's this that I want to, to talk to you uh, about today. Because there's 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 a, a there's an amazing opportunity in real estate. So um, let me just uh, I'm going to see if I can. All right, can everybody can you see my screen? Okay, okay, great. So I just want to share a few stats uh, with everybody. So in 2021, like that was a pretty good year for real estate agents. Uh, they're they're you know in the country there are about 1.6 million real estate agents. Um, there were about 6.1 million existing home sales and then another about 800,000 new home sales. Like that, that's approaching 7 million uh, sales. Now, fast forward to 2023, last year, um, we saw the largest decline in real estate transactions since the Great Recession. In fact, um, there were fewer transactions done um, in 2023 than there were in 1995 when there were some issues going on. And, and so in this century, 2023 was one of the most difficult years and 2024 isn't really letting up. Uh, it's still uh, impacting agents. And so in 2023, there were only 4.1 million existing home sales. That's a decline of 2 million 
transactions. And then another, there were about 500,000 new home sales. And, and so there was a, a dramatic reduction. And let's see if I can get this to, let's see, how do I change slides here? I might have to just not show the whole screen. Um, so, you know, the question becomes like, you know, what, you know, what happened? Um, higher interest rates were one thing. Higher prices were another thing. Overall inflation issues. Um, and one of the bigger things is that homeowners had refinanced to, you know, these rates, you know, two and 4% and people don't want to give that up. That's super understandable. I'm in the same boat. And in like, it's an asset, right? To have uh, a low interest rate. And so uh, people are not moving they because they don't want to give that up. And, and that makes sense. Um, here's some really kind of startling and uh, kind of distressing statistics. In 2023, of the 1.5 million real estate agents, 50% closed fewer than one transaction. Like you can't even pay your, your real estate fees closing, you know, one transaction. 70% closed fewer than five transactions. And, you know, I just call that crazy. Like, like why, why is that the case? Now there, in my mind, there's a few, there's a few reasons. Um, one of them is this concept of the 80, 20 rule in real estate. I kind of think it's actually the 90, 10 rule. If you take a look at uh, uh, those who do the majority of the business, it's probably the top 10%. Um, a couple other things that I think are really key is that too many real estate agents are generalists. And there is a there is a crushing need to specialize. The more niche, the more specialized you are, the more success you're going to see. The more knowledge, the more capability that you have to connect with your clients or 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 you attract people to you when you are a specialist. Like people will will refer people to you. And when you're just having normal conversations, whether it's investment real estate, whether it's luxury, whether it's uh, first time home, but whatever your specialty is, if you truly are the tip of the the, the spear and the expert, um, the conversations that you have will create more opportunity. The next one is just lack of training resources. And, you know, I don't really believe this one, the lack of opportunity. I mean, let's face it. I mean, there were still uh, nearly 5 million transactions last year. So there's still a lot going on. I, I'm not a believer that there's necessarily a lack of opportunity if if you if you know how to take um, advantage of it. Um, I actually believe that there's tons and tons of opportunity. So here's an interest another interesting statistic. So last year of the of the approximately five million real estate transactions, twenty six percent of them were investment related. That's over eight hundred thousand. Or I'm sorry, that's over 1.3 million investment transactions. Now, here's another startling uh, 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 revelation to the, that was to me as I did my research. Um, about 5% of all real estate agents are investment specialists. So out of the 1.6 million real estate agents, there's only about 80,000 agents who, who have the ability who have the knowledge, who have the tools and the resources to really benefit their, their clients in a way that's significant, in a way that they can help them take steps forward. So let's just say that there's 80,000 agents, there's 5 million transactions. I mean, there, there's, uh, there's 1.3 million investment transactions. Um, that's an average of about 16 transactions per agent. For those uh, invest for those investor agent uh, you know specialists. Now the reality is, the eighty twenty rule applies to even specialists. Of the specialists, you know eighty percent of them are still doing, um, or twenty percent of them are doing eighty percent of of the work. So, um, I am a big believer in niching down and specializing, whatever your specialization is, but I'm going to focus today on investment real estate because I think that that's where there is massive, massive opportunity. Um, so like I mentioned last year, I helped, you know, my clients purchase uh, um, and, and close, you know, over 200 investment uh, transactions. And, you know, here, here's the thing. If there are 5 million real estate transactions, if you are a real estate investment specialist, 
you don't have to like, you don't have to believe that, well, I have to somehow tap into or dip into those existing 5 million transactions. Like that's not what's going to happen. You are going to create transactions because there are so many people who want to invest in real estate, but they just don't even know how to get started. I'm a big believer that all roads lead to real estate. Um, I actually bought that URL. I don't know how I'm ever going to use it, but I just like I'm a like I just really believe that it's maybe one day I'll be able to use that URL some way uh, in my marketing efforts. But what I have found is that the moment anybody has any type of financial success, whether it's it's large or small, people are looking for places to put uh, their their investments, right? Uh, where where to put their where to put their money? And and here's a key thing is that you know not everybody wants to be a real estate investor, but everyone wants to own investment real estate. That that's real. Not everybody wants to like live and breathe real estate. Um, I, I most of my clients do not live and breathe real estate. They just want to own real estate, and so I um, have worked to become that resource for them. Um, there was a Gallup poll uh, recently done where uh, the Gallup poll surveyed um, uh, Americans and they asked the question: Which of the following do you think is the best long term investment? Bonds, real estate. Savings accounts, CDs, stocks, mutual funds, gold, or cryptocurrency. 38% of Americans chose real estate as the best long-term investment. But here's, here's kind of a disconnect. The IRS shows that only 7% of Americans claim property on their, in, on their taxes. There, there's a massive disconnect and there's a massive opportunity, meaning people... Americans want to own real estate. They don't know how to get started. They don't know what kind of real estate to buy. They don't know where to buy it. They don't know how to manage it. They don't know how to optimize it. And if they knew somebody who did know those things, they would absolutely jump. From, from personal experience, what I've found, so my clients are not, most of my clients are not real estate investors per se. They're regular, hardworking people. They're professionals. They're busy doing what they do. They're doctors, they're dentists, they're teachers, they're firefighters. They're just regular people who know they need to have real estate in their portfolio. And they, they haven't had the time to figure it out. They don't have that expertise. They know that there's a lot to it. Maybe they they dipped their toe in and they bought something and they got stung and they're like, I'm never doing that again. Um, whatever the case may be. But if they came across someone, a real estate agent, who was a true resource, they would jump. When I got started as a real estate investor, when I sold my uh, my uh, my company, um, I'd, I'd started dabbling in real estate. I started flipping homes and I had an agent who worked for me um, to help me find properties. But here's the reality. Um, he didn't know more than I did. And fairly quickly, like I had to like push him and I was learning more, like I knew more than him in, in very short order. And, 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 and when I realized that I couldn't find somebody who like was more capable and knowledgeable and could really be a resource for me, I decided, well, I need to just go figure this out myself. And I got my license and I started, you know, uh, just doing it on, on, on my own. In this concept of, of becoming a resource and understanding that like most people want to invest in real estate. In fact, um, I, I, you know, I joke, I, I joke sometimes with people, it's like, hey, if you walked into a restaurant and you like stood up on the bench and you you yell, it's like, hey, how many people in here would want to want to invest in real estate? You know, you'd probably, you know, have eight or nine ten, hands out of 10. If you ask them how many actually invested, it'd be very few. And the stats that I just showed you in the prior sli slides really, really show that. So the question becomes like, once you ask that question or somebody gets referred to or you you're like at a luncheon, you're at a, you know, you're at a chamber of commerce event or something. And, and you have that, you have that conversation, right? Oh, Hey, what do you do? And they tell you, and then inevitably they ask you and you're like, Oh, I'm a, I'm a real estate agent, but I am an investor's agent. And I specialize in helping people invest in real estate. I can all but guarantee you, your conversation is going to become very one-sided. And all they're going to do is ask you questions about the market, about how to do it. And they're going to want to pick your brain. And if you have the right answers, if you have the ability to uh, help them understand the, the benefits and the opportunities, the fact that, that there's cash flow that they get to take advantage of, they get the principal pay down, they get the tax strategies and, or the tax benefits, 
and they also get the appreciation and 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 a multitude of of other uh, benefits that come with owning real estate. Like th- I can all but guarantee you, because I've experienced this literally hundreds of times, um, that person will become like this magnet to you. And if they're not ready to buy real estate with you right now, guess what? You now are the go-to source because you provided them with something that nobody's ever been able to do for them before. And before you know it, you have referrals. I'll, I'll just say this really quickly before I go to my next slide, because this is an inc- like in this really tough market, um, this has been, in, in my mind, my my saving grace is that 75% of my business, 50% of it every month is repeat customers. The other 25% is referrals from my customers. Only 25% of my business comes from my ongoing marketing efforts where I, I attract new people on my own. 75% is that repeat and referral business. And, and that's why my business has been able to be sustainable even during these really difficult times. And that's one of the great benefits of becoming an investor's agent and a specialist is that it's not about helping somebody buy one home. The conversation is never about helping them buy an investment property. It's about helping them see the bigger picture that, hey, my goal with you is to help you create economic independence through purchasing and building a portfolio of 10 properties. Now, all of a sudden, they're not thinking one property. They're thinking, okay, how do I do this over and over and over again? This is kind of um, my 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 big thing right now is like uh, over the years, I've become what I call an investor's agent. Um, and it, it's just my kind of designation for an agent who works with real estate investors or better yet, with people who want to own real estate. Um, And so how do you become an investor's agent? Well, you just got to, you got to get the knowledge. You got to get the training. You have to have the resources and the tools and you can do what I did and you can invent it over the course of many years um, and, and just trial and error it. Or uh, you can take advantage of the knowledge of, of others. And, and that's what, that's one of the things that I've done. Um, that I'm going to sh- share with you here in just a few minutes. I already talked about my my um, my my track record here. We don't need to spend much more time on that. But as an investor's agent over the years, I've created something with my business partner, uh, Kevin Clayson, something that we call the Moneyball Real Estate System, and it's and it's really simple. It's it's if any of you have seen the movie Moneyball. Um, it's a, it's about baseball. It's about hitting singles. It's about the statistics. It's about just getting on base. And if you get, if you hit a single and you get on base and you do that enough times, you win the game. It's about not swinging for the fences. It's not about the home runs. It's about just getting that first property and then building on that and then getting that second property and that third property and letting that grow into a 10 property portfolio. And and what we have, what, I've found is is that when my clients hit that 10 property portfolio, their lives, I mean, their lives change with property number one, I'm telling you. But when you get to 10 properties, like your whole economic outlook outlook is completely different. And you're in a position to truly create economic independence, which is the ultimate goal that I have for, you know, for uh, my clients. Um, So... I feel like I'm kind of like on a mission because I have found and I'm so passionate now about what my clients have been able to accomplish and achieve. You know, the 5,000 properties that they've purchased. Yeah, that that's awesome. It's a big number. But when you boil it down on, on you know, and you take a look at the, the properties or my average uh, client who on average owns four-ish properties, but many of them have have hit that 10 property portfolio. Many of them have done more than that. To see the change in their lives from an economic standpoint, from a confidence standpoint in the future, from a confidence standpoint of like with all the craziness going on in the world, when you own some real estate and you have some cash flow coming in and you're seeing the the appreciation and you're seeing the cash flow and you're seeing that principal pay down and you're seeing what this property is doing for you, Despite all of the hardships, because I'm not going to mince words, 
Being a real estate investor is not simple. And there is pain that comes along with owning investment property. And that's why you as their agent, you need to know how to help them deal with the issues that will inevitably come up. And with your confidence and your knowledge and your experience, you'll be able to help them get through those hurdles super easy. When you see them get those benefits and you see the change in their life, it, it, it is nothing short of fulfilling. It's nothing short of it, it, like just incredible. Like the sense of satisfaction knowing that you helped individuals and families accomplish something significant in their lives through real estate, it, it's powerful and it's motivating. And so like, I am like one person, right? And, um, you know, I do quite a few transactions each year, um, but knowing that there were one point, like there's an opportunity for millions of investment op uh, transactions. I'm, I'm a drop in a drop in a bucket of what's possible. We need more people owning more real estate. Like you talk about, wanting, you know, this country to do well. You talk about, I mean, we just, you know, celebrated the 4th of July, right? And independence and how America is awesome. And it is awesome. And in order to maintain that awesomeness and the greatness of that country, the thing that makes this country truly, truly great is our middle class. And much of the middle, middle class's uh, wealth has come from owning their single family, you know, their their own property that they live in. That's where the majority of people's wealth resides. And if we can help people take advantage of being a business owner and a property owner and take advantage of all the rules and opportunities that, you know, uh, our government has granted to those homeowners, like it, it's just empowering. This country has a bright, bright future in, in, in every regard, but it can be even brighter if we as agents can help more people own more real estate and take advantage of all of those benefits. But my mission is this, like I can only help so many people myself. And I've come to the conclusion that there just needs to be more investors agents. If only 5% of us as agents have the ability to truly, truly, truly talk investment real estate, there needs to be more of us. 5% is like way too low. That number needs to be 10%. It probably needs to be 20%, quite frankly, because if there were more agents who had the ability to have these conversations and to and to have the ability to help a client move forward and then succeed and optimize that property over the course of many many years there's going like there will truly be a real estate revolution in, in my mind and and the benefits from it are, are 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 massive so my goal is to help more agents um do what i do or make it a part of their existing business like more agents just need to have the ability to have these conversations in a significant uh, and meaningful way. And so what I've done um, since joining eXp Realty, actually, I've been I've been working on this question for a long, long time. And uh, um, I ended up writing a book and disseminating and in, in, into uh, 200 and something pages, everything that I know. All of the resources, the tools, the materials, the stories, the marketing, like everything um, I've put into a book and I've called it the Investor's Agent Blueprint. And I'll just uh, show you real quick. This is this is what it looks like. If you if you uh, I would invite you to uh, to uh, maybe I can put it in the chat because um, when you click on this link. Um, I'm giving the, my book away for free. I am charging $9.95 for shipping and handling. Or if you don't want to pay $9.95 for shipping and handling, that's totally fine. Right here, you can just click, no thanks, I don't need the physical book. I just want the free ebook. Like I just want to get this information um, out there and into the hands of, of other agents. And what is so interesting to me, so um, my book is now on Amazon. Um, it's on Audible. It's on Kindle. And... So I did a search, like there are probably literally millions of books and titles that you can get on Audible and Amazon. There is not one other book, at least that I could find, maybe one exists, I couldn't find it, on the subject of helping an, an agent know how to help their clients invest in real estate. 
there's a gazillion books on investing in real estate, but I couldn't find one other book other than the one that I, I just published on helping agents become investors agents so that they can help, so that they know how to help their customers, their clients successfully invest in real estate and, and very, very specifically in single family properties. And so, um, so, so the book is, is there, it's, it's, uh, you know, I, I hope you'll, you know, take advantage of, of the opportunity to, uh, to see what's in it and, and learn from it. Um, I'm, I'm taking this one step further. Um, another thing that I've done, I created, I, I wrote the book, um, but I also, um, I also created something called the Investors Agent Academy. And you can go to investorsagentacademy.com and uh, I'll just show you that really quick. Um, so I've got a website here. Uh, there is, it, it's pretty comprehensive. And so uh, I don't get like in a first conversation, I don't talk about all of the, the things that are available there, but all of my tools and resources, my property analysis, my game plan reviews, uh, calculators. Um, I've got all kinds of courses that you can take, including um, I've I've put together a course called the uh, called the uh, the master certification course. Um, I'll just show you really quickly. Um, so you so I'm giving you access to the Investors Agent Academy. So if you either buy the physical book, not, well, if, if if you pay for shipping and handling for the physical book. Or if you just download the free version, the ebook, um, this afternoon you'll get an email giving you uh, access to the Investors Agent Academy and this master certification. So I'm giving this course away for free, um, and I'll just show you what it kind of what it entails. So if you look right here, Module One: What is an investors agent? Um, and there's a little quiz that you'll take. Module Two is who is an investor's agent? There's three, four lessons there. Then there's the Moneyball real estate transaction process. So you'll learn all about this Moneyball system that I kind of shared with you. Um, there's lessons, uh, I mean, eight lessons there. Then module three is just the power of real estate so that you really become versed and, be, and you'll have the ability to talk with your clients in a very powerful way after learning about the power of real estate. And it's broken, that one's broken into uh, seven modules. Uh, and then there's module four, um, expert strategies uh, to increase your compensation. There's something that I call the team's fee. You know, there, there's the whole NER settlement that that you know ha is in process right now. And there's a lot of agents super scared that like who are who work with buyers and they're so like terrified that they're not going to be able to like earn a commission. Um, I've been charging my clients what I call a team's fee or a buyer's agent commission on top of the commission that I earn from the seller. I charge $6,995 per transaction. It's part of my marketing. It's part of what I teach my clients, what I'm going to do for them. And I show them everything that I'm going to do versus what they're going to do. And that's why I call my version of, of this done free real estate. And so every transaction on top of the, the commission I earn, I also earn an additional $7,000. And my clients, I do not get pushback on that. And so with this whole NAR settlement, there's there's this module here that you're going to learn a, a, you know, about how to earn more. Uh, module five is the Moneyball Real Estate National Fulfillment Team, where you can um, extend your geographic reach outside of your geographic area. I won't talk too much about that. I'll let you um, go through the course. Um, and then an intro to marketing uh, your investor's agent business. And, and so this is the course uh, that I've made available uh, to you. You'll receive uh, an email if you if you get the book, whether you buy the hard copy or whether you uh, uh, you know get the, the free e-version, you'll get an email this afternoon granting you access to the Investor's Agent Academy. Um, it is kind of limited access. You'll have the master certification course. I will tell you this, that... Once you complete the master certification course, that will open up additional courses for you. And so each, you know, the, the free version of the Investors Agent Academy uh, will allow you to walk down a path to consume a lot of as much information as you'd like. It'll give you access to the community, which is over here. 
And so um, anyways, I just want to make that uh, available uh, to each of you. And so like the master certification, um, you know, it's going to answer some of these questions that will help you with your customers, like answer some of these important questions, like is now a good time to buy real estate? Like one of the videos that you'll have access to is I, I created a, a whole a video and a course on on this question because I, I'm I'm telling you right now, um, I mean, I'm a big believer that the best time to 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 buy real estate is 20 years ago. Uh, the next best time is today. It doesn't matter what market conditions exist, but this is what I think. And for what it's worth, you know, you may or may not agree with me, but um, I, I can show you the statistics. But there is massive pent up demand for affordable homes right now. Um, I read an article just yesterday to the tune of 7.2 million homes in deficit. As far as homes that like there's demand for that don't exist. If you if you watch the news, every time interest rates drop even a bit, um, uh, under contracts go up. And the minute the Fed changes, Interest, uh, the, the their rate and interest rates go down half a point to a to a point. There's going to be another run on properties. Like we, I don't know if it'll be as as crazy as it was a few years ago, but it's going to be significant. And so right now, like right now, my my clients, um, it it is a buyer's market uh, in in many markets, at least in the markets where uh, we we help our clients buy, and um, so. I'm always asking for, and I always get 2% in concessions on every deal that, that we do, in addition to a slightly lower purchase price. That, that is going to disappear the minute interest rates go down. Like right now, at least at in this point in the history of our country, right now, like prices are not going to, I shouldn't speak in absolutes, right? Prices are not likely to go down based on my understanding of, of economics, based on where we're at in the market right now, uh, prices are not going to dramatically drop. Uh, in some segments they do, right? The, the massive luxury homes, the bigger homes, we've seen some decrease and we've seen decrease in certain markets. That is super true. But in other markets and the markets where, uh, where I have my clients buy, even last year, year over year, uh, there we saw appreciation of between one and a half and two and a half percent. And, and that is just, it's going to change. Like it's not going to be a buyer's market once. And I don't know when interest rates are going to go down, but when they do go down even just a little bit, it's going to get crazy again. And so right now, if you can talk the talk and walk the walk with your clients and help them understand that and help them get in, they, a year from now, two years from now, whenever things kind of change up a little bit, they can always refinance to a lower rate but they're not going to be able to go back in time and, and buy at a lower price. And so um, anyways, I, I spent too much time on that. Um, so how to identify a good investment property? Where is the best place to buy? What is the best type of real estate to purchase? What, what price point should I focus on? What financing should I employ? What are the benefits of investment real estate? What is the best way to manage the property? How long should I own it? When should I sell it? What tax strategies can I take advantage of? And should I ever refinance? Like those are just some of the questions that you'll get answers to uh, uh, when you go through the master certification course. And just so you know, you will get the designation of investment master certified. And that's something that you can add to your uh, to your emails. And so you'll have this designation um, when you complete uh, when you complete this course. So I'm hoping you'll take advantage of of that of that opportunity. There's this thing that I call the Moneyball real estate system. Um, that's what you also get access to in the Investors Agent Academy. It's what you'll get access to for free as well. Um, everything that you'd need to uh, to plug into that system. I've got Mike Chamberlain uh, on the call here. I've got uh, Nate um, Larson with us. And they they've worked with our clients for years and years. Um, I thought I'd just, I don't know if we can uh, give, uh, uh, yeah, I think Mike, you can speak. So Mike works very closely with our clients post-purchase. And Mike, I just wondered if you might, you know, be willing to share, you know, some of the, you know, if if a 
if a client comes to mind, maybe you can share a few anecdotes about, you know, what this has meant to our clients in helping them move forward, how it's changed their lives and the impact that we have the ability to make as real estate agents, if we empower ourselves to, uh, to talk the real estate talk. Yeah. I guess a thought that came to mind just now is actually when my wife and I closed on our first property, uh, I've been a longtime investor. I, I love, I grew up with the uh, pictures of wall street on my wall and, and I've always loved stocks and other kinds of investments. I was, I was late to the real estate investment game. I joined this company five years ago and, and, and after that bought my first investment property. And when the uh, mobile notary left my home, I asked my wife how she felt about it, having bought our first investment property. And she said, I feel more hopeful. And, and that's a, a reoccurring uh, theme that I hear from our clients. I get to talk to all of our clients after they purchase a property, do a transition call from what it's like to buying a property to owning it, You know, talking big picture and, and, and trying to emphasize some of the messiness that will come up in the short run, but how it's worth it in the long run. And we're here to help make sure you get those long-term benefits of real estate. It always works in the long run. And, and so it's my job and our job as a company to help people get those long-term benefits. And, and and that's a reoccurring thing I'm here is is just how hopeful they are having a physical, tangible, uh, you know, relatable thing that they believe is going to be there for them. It gives them more confidence that the the future will work out. And so yeah, we've had a lot of clients that have started with one. Over time, uh, it's turned into two because home prices go up and mortgages go down a little bit, and so they may do a cash out refinance. We're doing annual reviews to help make sure that they are taking advantage of what opportunities are in front of them. And, and just over time, going from one to two and two to four, always with the goal of getting them to 10, it, it absolutely makes a, trans, a, a transition in their hope for their future. And, and so that's the, that's the thought that came to mind right there. Of course, we've had uh, individuals that uh, have, uh, we, we've told you about the Diviacs before, about how uh, he this was somebody who had recently retired, always had wanted to do real estate before he retired, never dared do it. But he heard a commercial on a radio uh, 13 years ago, 12 years ago, and uh, his son with special needs knew his dad wanted to do real estate. And so he said, Dad, you should call. And, and he wasn't planning to, but his son insisted, Dad, you should call. You should call. And so as he's writing, driving, he's writing down our phone number. Two weeks later, when the son asked him if he had called, he got upset with his dad when he found out he hadn't, went out to the car, found the scrap piece of paper in between the seats with our number, and he made his dad come in and call. And so that was the start, even though real estate had had a big drop after the Great Recession, even though he thought prices were going to go down still, he knew he always wanted to do real estate. And he thought, I'll try it with one. If it works out, I'll do more. And uh, that is the, the Ron Divi Act that over the next 12 years, we helped him get to 10 properties that they owned. And when I first joined the company, I had a conversation with them where I asked him, you know, what, what impact did that have in your life? And he said, you know, when I used to think about retirement and thinking about my son with special needs, I used to have nightmares and now I don't. And, and, and Ron unfortunately passed away this last year, a year and a half ago. And, uh, and we're having ongoing conversations with his wife, Sally and, and son, Mike have met with them several times to help make sure that real estate's doing what Ron wanted to do for him, which is provide this perpetual intergenerational legacy play to, to help them have more hope and more confidence. So yeah, a lot of those kind of experiences with clients where whether it's one that uh, gives them more hope or whether it's a, a dozen or so that uh, that has transformed their lives, it, it's pretty impactful. It's, it's a great thing to be part of. Thanks, Mike. Um, so I'll, I'll share this as well. Um, so the, the version of the Investors Agent Academy that I've given you access to is, and there's lots of free features within the, the Academy. There's also a paid version. I'm not going to talk about, about that today. Um, other than this, is that there is a way for you as real estate agents to earn ongoing uh, residual income as you refer people to the Investors Agent Academy. I won't say any more than that, other than you can get it free. You can get all of the features free for yourself, as well as earn additional income. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about that, um, please just uh, shoot me an email or a text message. I'm going to, I'll put in here my, I'll give you all my, my phone number. Um, and, and you feel free to uh, contact me and I'd be more than happy to chat with you uh, individually. 
and um, and share more about that. So we also have uh, Nate Larson with us today. Nate has been instrumental over the course of the development of this program um, in building out the Investors Agent Academy. He's worked um, uh, at Dunphy Real Estate for you know more than a decade and uh, has worked with hundreds and hundreds of our clients. Um, and recently has had the chance to, you know, spend time with uh, some of the agents on this side of the the coin. Um, you know, Nate, would you mind just kind of sharing like the impact that you've seen with agents as they're becoming involved and kind of getting up to speed and just becoming more knowledgeable uh, as investors, agents, and how that's kind of impacting them personally and 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 uh, in their businesses. Yeah, it's it's been exciting actually. Um, you know, a lot of agents they they may have expertise or interest in investment real estate, and some agents don't. And so, what we what we've seen and what we're really excited about is you you have you have a, a system here that you can really plug into, and the expertise and the knowledge and the team to support you really with with your with your clients basically to help them to build and and invest in an investment portfolio. And it's it's really We've been like like Steve said, we've been doing this for a long time. I've been with Done for You for for over thirteen years. I've seen the impact in in clients' lives. It is fun to see a client purchase one property and then take it to two and then to four and so forth. And so I was just thinking about this too. There's there's such a demand and a need for investment real estate. You know, part of my career, I spent nine years at Fidelity Investments. I was in retirement planning, and so I was dealing with you know, mutual funds and stocks and bonds and so forth and retirement plans like IRAs and 401ks and 403bs. And and it's interesting to, to have spent a lot of years in in the securities and the retirement planning industry and then to and then to be 13 years in in investment real estate side of things. And there's a there's a need. There's a lot of 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 need and desire to diversify, especially when the stock market starts going south, people start looking elsewhere. Um, and so real estate, a lot of like Steve had mentioned, there's a lot of interest in real estate, but clients just don't know how to do it. Or a lot of people don't know how to get started. And that's where that's where we help agents help their clients really take the guesswork out of it, help reduce risks, help to explore different markets and really succeed with it. And so. So yeah, we've seen we've seen agents, you know, plug in and really take advantage of this and help their clients. It's you know, I, I tease our clients, it's vanilla real estate. I mean, we have a specialty and a niche. It's single family investment properties in different markets um, and they work and they just work over time. And it really helps uh, a client expand and, and to build out and to diversify their whole overall investment portfolio. So super excited. We love what we do. Excited to help agents to, and help clients. And so, yeah, that's that's cool. my two cents, Steve. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Nate. I appreciate that. I see uh, Sean Struck has uh, joined us as well. And um, Sean's a, a recent uh, client of ours. And he just uh, uh, chatted here and said he'd be happy to kind of share his experience. If, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be awesome, Sean. Would love to. And first, apologize to all of you. I was supposed to help set this up this morning. My electricity got knocked out twice. It's never happened. But one other time than nine months or 10 months, I've lived up in the mountains. So apologize. Thank you for whoever got it started. Um, yeah, so I was so excited about this thing, Steve. Wanted to introduce you and all that. Hopefully, you guys got out of the gate fairly quickly. But yeah, so I've I'm that perfect candidate, man. I have thought about investing ever since I read the Robert Kiyosaki books back 10, 15 years ago, and kept thinking about it. But it wasn't. It was always something that kind of interfered. And I'm like, God, I, I got to get these relationships going. How do I do this? I got to study more. And I just never found the time to really sit down and make it happen. And then all of a sudden, you guys come along. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is right up my alley. And what I mean by that, guys, I'm 58. My mindset is, long story short, bad investment seven, eight years ago. So I'm having to work an extra 10 years. So my goal is to retire by 68. Well, I just bought a home up here in the mountains, big, beautiful home at a very high interest rate. And, uh, and my thought is, oh my gosh, I do not want to retire and have a house payment. And even though I'm doing well on the revenue share, I needed some other form of income in case something were to happen. I wanted another stream. When I saw this opportunity, I got so darn excited, did my first investment in December. And my goal is every other year, trying to be very realistic, every other year, buy a property. So to have five in the next nine years. And the main reason is I want to get set up where I'm hoping six, seven, eight years from now, the first one or two properties I bought, there's enough equity built up in that. 
along with what I'm currently making, where I find myself eight, nine years from now paying this house off and having no house payment. And I don't know if that'd be possible if I wasn't able to go through your program and get a few of these properties and let the equity build up over the next seven, eight, nine, 10 years to help me pay this one off. Um, so I'm also so excited about the opportunity for all of us here, because somebody nailed it just a second ago. It was probably you, Steve. I think a majority of us want to get into investing. Not sure if we know how, not sure if we've got the money. And you guys got so many creative ways to get people into the world of investing. And I love the whole slogan. I always say it. You guys do 95% of the work. We get 100% of the profits. And when my mindset went, I'm going to pay a one-time payment of $69.95 for the life of that property and never lift a finger, I'm in. <laughs> I'm not the guy who wants to spend two to three hours every night trying to manage my rental properties, the people, all that stuff. And to think you guys do all that is incredible. So I'm extremely excited about what the future beholds, not just for me and my family, but for all of us that are on here and all of our clients that we've done past business with and the future ones coming. Man, I love that. What was the line you just said a second ago? I meant to write it down um, where you talked about asking them the question. Have you ever thought about, what was the question you asked, Steve? Because I need to write it down when you're talking to anybody. If you're out at a restaurant, you bump into somebody, what's the question you said to ask them that would mo most likely pick them up and want to start talking about it? Yeah, very, very, it's kind of the concept of not everybody wants to be a real estate investor, but everybody wants to own real estate. Have you ever considered owning real estate? Bingo, bingo. Because I would think way more than half the people definitely would love to get into investing. Just don't know how in your program is, not that I've ever done a ton of research and all the different things out there. I've never seen a program like this that allows the everyday average person to truly get started now and look up 10 years from now and their whole life could be different. Their whole family tree could be changed. So I'm just very blessed that you guys have joined DXP and become a part of this. So thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sean. And um, I know you missed uh, the earlier part of this, but and and Sean has joined the Investors Agent Academy as well. Um, so let you know. But the 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 Investors Agent Academy is all about like teaching you how to do exactly what I'm doing, and you will have the ability to uh, tap into my National Fulfillment Program and just let us work uh, with your customers, or and or all of the resources exist for you to just do exactly what I'm doing on your own. Like I've, I've, when, when I, when I first uh, shared this idea with my team, they all thought I was crazy. So I was like, I just, I want to give away everything. Like I want to open the book and just share everything I know with other real estate agents. And, and, but I didn't know like exactly how to do it. And so over the course of the last year, that's that we we put together all of this information, consolidated all of our tools, created the master certification course, all of the other courses that currently exist, took all of our marketing information, created a software, like all of these different things in order to just allow you to do um, what I'm doing and just duplicate it, like duplicate it, the checklist, everything, the property analysis, the game plan reviews, the, the whole system is, it's an open book. Um, for for you to just run with at, at at any speed and at any degree, whether you want whether you want to make it your whole thing and you just want to immerse yourself, or whether you want to stay a little bit more on the fringes and just learn how to like talk to it and know how to help your clients, um, and then plug them into the national platform, or it like you can do whatever you can do the free version, you can do the paid version, you can do however whatever makes sense for you. I'm just interested. And getting more agents versed in investment real estate so you can help so that collectively we can help more people uh become owners of investment real estate so um with that i, I think we've got like two minutes left if anybody uh, uh maybe we could just look at uh any questions we're, we're pretty much out of time and i and i know that everybody's super busy so i'm not going to take more time but I, I gave you my phone number i gave you my email uh, if you would like to learn more, if you'd like to have a conversation, please, uh, you know, just contact me in one of those ways and 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 I can kind of be that uh, tip of the spear. And um, I'm making myself available to the Freedom Team uh, to, you know, to help you in any way that I possibly can. Mm -hmm.